take me to a moment that optimism wasn't there, that mentality wasn't there. Yeah. And you're like, is this really what I want to do? In the moment, I felt like this is, it's over for me. How am I gonna get out of this? Mm. Why is this so hard? Why, why am I so sad about this? Just because I've made mistakes or I got derailed or I went over here, it doesn't mean that he's not able to bring me back and modify the journey or how I get to that destination. The trauma and the things that we deal with when we're growing up and how it affects our brain, I now realize why I was going through depression. And we just ignore it. We ignore the feelings because we're not taught to deal with our feelings. We're not taught to sit in our emotions. For me, you know, I had the kind of depression where it wasn't the crying and laying in bed all the time. It was the, I just don't care about anything. So what'd you say if someone's watching that they want to maybe slow down, but are fearful? What is one tool that you can give them? When you look at things like that and you take all the extra things, the expectations, the perceptions, and you're just more worried about doing God's will, or you're more worried about fulfilling your actual purpose, like that takes 70% of the pressure off. What do you believe you transitioned out of and that you have transitioned into? The story is in the struggle. The blessings are in the struggle. I think that I've just finally come to a point where it's like, prepare for what you can prepare for and then release what you can. You don't know the outcome. You know, only God does. That's it. Always remember that your steps are ordered. You know, remember what the Word says about you. Remember who God says that you are. You are a royal priesthood, my G. You are loved. And no one that loves you is gonna let you fall.